It was really nice to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Scooby-Doo. I share my thoughts on this on Scooby-Doo Where Are You TV show, which I already mentioned in my review that I did watch some of the episodes on Tubi. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys enjoyed my top 5 favorite Scooby-Doo TV shows. Those are, those are nice ways for me to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Scooby-Doo. And th to any everyone who worked on the franchise, especially Joe Ruby and Ken Spears, as well as Frank Welker provi providing the voice of both Fred Jones and Scooby-Doo, as well as Neil Fanning and Scott Ennis trying to do their own take on Scooby-Doo, and Matthew Lillard playing Shaggy in the live-action movies, as well as voicing him in the many, several recent cartoons. Thank you. Thank you for bringing Scooby-Doo to life on the big screen and small screen for 55 years. And sure, maybe not every Scooby-Doo-related show or movie you've worked on is 100% perfect. At least you stu still tried to make something good. And again, I know that some of the shows and movies like Return Scooby-Doo Return to Zombie Island, Scooby-Doo Adventures, The Mystery Pups, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue, and HBO Max's Velma might not be 100% perfect like to compare according to some fans, but it doesn't matter. As long as you guys are trying to create a fantastic Scooby-Doo show or movie, which you could probably tell that I own a few Scooby-Doo related shows and movies in my WB Media Collection. But, but anyways, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing Scooby-Doo to life and entertaining so many fans for 55 years. And I still can't believe it's been that long. <clears throat> Man, 55 years of Scooby-Doo? That must have been a, quite a milestone. And again, thank you to everyone who worked on various on all the various shows, movies, comics, and video games. Rather, either rather you're a crea creator, writer, director, voiceover, voiceover actor, producer, music score, animator, animator, whatever. You guys still managed to make Scooby Doo great. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I still have nothing against the other Hanna-Barbera shows like Hong Kong Fooey, Wacky Races, Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles, The Funky Phantom, Ataman, Secret Squirrel, The Flintstones, The Jetsons, Top Cat, Yogi Bear, Penelope Petstop, Dastily and Muttley. Quick John McGraw, Wally Gator, Grape Ape, Jabberjaw, Captain Kame and the Teen Angels, Speed Buggy, Goo and the Ghost Chasers, Josie and the Pussycats, and more. Scooby-Doo will still be a very popular show, no matter what. So, once again, thank you. I would hate to imagine a world without Scooby-Doo. I'm sure you guys are already going into the comments section, saying then, say, might saying the same thing. Okay, maybe not, but still, I will never get tired of Scooby Doo, even if the, some of the shows and movies might not be perfect. But hey, it's like I said, you can't win them all, right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And thank you to all the people who worked on the franchise over the past 55 years. Here's to another 55 years! Which I guess that means the Scooby-Doo franchise will be 110 years old in the next 55 years. Boy, time would really go by that fast, huh? <laughs> it's true.